Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to set this up. Now, this video is for those of you who even bought just one of these and not the three. So let's say you just bought one of these. You can follow this exact same video. If you bought the three, so these three, same thing, you can follow up because one of them is the main setup and that's for your main router. Then the other ones will basically be bouncing off the Wi-Fi signal so the whole mesh can work throughout your whole house. But anyways, let's just get started with the basics. So first of all, we have to take a look at your cable right here that came with this. So this is your ethernet cable. And that's gonna be to any one of these that can work. So we're just gonna take the middle one, but you can go ahead and set up with whichever, it does not matter. It makes absolutely no difference. So we're gonna go on and plug this in. And how do you do that? And where do you plug it in? Well, it goes right here. You guys see that symbol? That's where you want to plug it in. And then this, this end will go right into your modem. So some of you have companies who gave you a modem slash router. It's the same thing. It's just one whole machine that uh, also gives you Wi-Fi signal throughout your house. And it's also a modem. So you would plug that in there. All right. So this, this side goes there. This goes here. And then we have to plug in our power. So we're gonna do that right now. So here's your power adapter. This end, you're gonna have to plug in here. And then this end, obviously you need an outlet. So just hook that up. And then we can go on and set this up. Now, before we keep going, if you bought the three of them, so it means you have two more, these guys don't need an ethernet cable. You're just gonna need to hook them up, some electricity. So just have those hooked up and ready to go. You do not need to plug them in right now because we're just gonna be adding these throughout to work as a mesh throughout your house. So that's why we can set these up later, but right now we have them pretty much ready to go. And before we keep going on your phone or tablet, just go and look for Google Home. You're gonna need that app. That's the main app. If you guys have this already, then it's gonna be easier because you have everything set up kind of already. If you had other Google products, if you don't, don't worry about it, just download Google Home app on your tablet or phone, open up that app, and then you can add your devices. So I'll show you what needs to be done on the Google Home app later on. But one of the things that you will have to do is scan this right here. If you're using a tablet, it has a camera because throughout the setup, the easiest thing is to just scan this in order to add it into your whole system in Google Home. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys. So for those of you who have just a modem, you should just see one just one available where you can plug in your other end from your google so this is the other end and you would just plug it in there if you have one of these that it's a modem and router at the same time so that's provide wi-fi then there should be multiple you can plug it in anywhere really so i already have one plugged in that's from another thing that i have so i'm just gonna unhook that unless you had an old router which is that's my case so i'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in here so just make sure that's nice and secure, and then you guys can just move on with the next step. So once you plug it in for the first time, you should see a light popping up. So see that light? That's how you know at least it's turned on. So again, this is the setup for your main router. We're just gonna let it do that for a second. Later on, you should see a blue light. And then just go into your app on your phone or tablet. And on your app, just go into devices. It's gonna be your second option. Scroll down. On your right hand side, you should see add. So just going to add. You're gonna add a new device. From here, you're gonna see new device. Then it's gonna ask you to choose your home. So go ahead and choose. And you're gonna see on the bottom, it says next. Just click on next. It's gonna look for devices at this point. And it should be looking for your Google Nest. So here we go. I have quite a few devices, by the way, but we have the Google Nest and this is it. This Nest Wi-Fi Pro, that's the one that you have to click on and go down here below. Go right into Next once again. And right here, this message says camera permission. So remember I told you that you have to scan. So make sure to scan using your, right here, your tablet or your phone. Down here below, you're going to scan that QR code. So go ahead and press scan QR code. That's down here below on the bottom right hand side. Click on OK. And there we go. Let's just scan this. So once you scan, you should see something like so. Click on Join. By the way, when you're scanning, go really close to it, so it almost fills up the square. And then it just has to take a few minutes to connect, and you should be ready to go. This is actually gonna be an extremely easy setup. So when it says connected, 
So we're officially connected. Just put in your Wi-Fi name, put anything that you like. Once you put in your Wi-Fi name, just click on done and then next. It's gonna ask you to create a password, create something that you're gonna remember. And again, once you do that, just tap on next on the bottom right hand side. Right here, it's gonna ask you if you want to improve products. You can, you don't have to. In my case, I'm just gonna click on yes. The next thing it's gonna ask you is to turn on Nest Cloud Services. So. For most of you, you do want this because most of you will want a family Wi-Fi maybe, maybe a guest network and advanced features. So unfortunately, some of you may not want this, but you're kind of forced to. So go ahead and tap in yes, I'm in. I'm gonna ask you where is this device? Just choose anything you like, dining room, for example, it could be, or wherever you're at. You tap on next. It's gonna check for updates and it's gonna create a Wi-Fi network. So right now, obviously it's got internet because you hook this up to your uh, modem and we're just gonna have to wait until it's done with creating this network. And finally, once you're done, you basically just have to join that network. It's gonna pop up right here. So that's the network that I made, Tech Design YT, you join and it's gonna connect to that Wi-Fi. Once it's connected, it's supposed to say exactly that, connect it, and finally, we're basically almost all done. So if you just bought the one and you just needed the one, you would be done already. So you can just press no if this message comes up to you, but most likely if you just bought the one, it's not gonna tell you that you have multiple. So we do have a pack of three in this case. So that's a good thing. You can go ahead and press on yes, since we do have the three pack. If you just bought the one, just press on no and you're basically done. So go ahead and press yes if you have the three pack like we did. And here we go. It's gonna tell us to place them. So let's just place them anywhere. I would place them at this point, not too far away. So that way, you know it's a good distance and then just keep placing them moving throughout your house to see where they work the best. But for now, just place them somewhere that's not too far away. And then just press on next. Obviously, we have to hook them up. You do not need an ethernet cable. All you have to do is hook up your electricity and that's it. So that means that, exactly, we're gonna place this somewhere in my house and then just hook this up. That's all we need. No ethernet cable for this one. You just have to plug this in and then just keep going with the setup. So once you place the other one and you just hooked it up, just press on next. And then right here, it's gonna tell you exactly that. You just have to have some electricity for it. So if you just plugged it in, wait for 45 seconds, then go ahead and press next. So just go ahead and press on next. It's gonna look for your device and we just have to wait. So right here, it should tell you that it found the device. This guy, that's our main router, should be blinking. The other one should just be a blue light, but your main one should be flashing because it's looking for this one. Go ahead and press on next for the next step. However, let's say it failed. It told you that it could not connect for some reason. And you keep pressing retry, nothing happens. Don't worry about it. All right, so if it failed, just close the app, open it up again, and then you just got to go into devices just look for your family room, make sure that's okay. So that's my Wi-Fi. that's the one that we just set up. And you're gonna have to do this manually. So you're gonna have to go into add, we're gonna have to add new device. Then we're gonna do the same thing again. Just choose the same home, go into next once again, and it's gonna look for your device. So just make sure you're close to that router. And here we go, it found it. So we're gonna go on and press next on the bottom right hand side. And in this case, it should tell you that it's preparing to mesh. So that's the difference between this one and your main router. You do still have to scan the QR code that we did before. Once you scan, it's supposed to tell you this, and it's pretty much the same setup that we did with the router. Just press on join. Once you press on join, it's supposed to tell you connecting to Wi-Fi. Right now it's connected, and there we go. That's our mesh. Right now I just press on got it on the bottom right hand side. It's gonna ask you where did you place this device. It could be the same thing, dining room, but I would choose something else. For example, kitchen or attic or anywhere else really. Once you do that, press on next, and then it's gonna tell you this, turning on mesh Wi-Fi. So we're gonna do the exact same steps for the third one. So we just did our second one, the third one, exact same steps, and then we're gonna be done. I should mention that for this to go well, you wanna stay close with your phone or tablet, whatever you're using to set it up. Stay close to the one that you're setting up at the moment. Don't just walk away and then come back to it later. Just stay with it. You will get this message again. You can click on no, click on yes, same thing. If you click on no, we can just add a device just like we did before. 
and not have to go through this just in case, or just click on yes. But go ahead and click on yes. And we're gonna do the exact same instructions for the third one. So third one, same thing. Uh, it should be blinking. We're gonna go ahead and press okay. We already hooked it up, so press next. It's gonna be looking for the device. Just make sure you're close to it. If you get a message like so, no device found. Don't worry about it. Just go ahead and press on yes. Press on try again. And it's gonna look for your device once again. Sometimes it wouldn't go ahead and uh, look for your device, like not find it, because this blue light wasn't on. So it wasn't on for about 45 seconds. Anyways, right now that you found it, we're gonna go into next once again. And it's gonna prepare the mesh. Everything should technically go right this time. We're gonna go ahead and join. And here we go. Sorry about the setting, but this one technically is in the next floor up. So it has to be placed basically on the floor. So it has a better connection to the one downstairs, which is almost directly underneath. So this one, again, just choose whichever makes sense to you, wherever you guys want. Uh, in this case, bedroom. We're gonna go into next. And here we go, it's gonna turn on the mesh Wi-Fi. So at this point, you might see this screen where it says, place your next Wi-Fi point. We have no more. So at this point, finally, we can say, not now, because we are finally done. So it's gonna test out your mesh connection. So this would be one of the most important things done, because right now our mesh connection is finally done. And you guys can just go on and enjoy your Wi-Fi. So I want to point out that this should tell you only two, and that's fine. Because it should tell you that your Nest Wi-Fi Pro is connected at the kitchen and bedroom. And that's because those are my two mesh connections. Then we have our main one, which would be our third one, but that's not really number three. That's just our router, our main router. And these are the two extra ones that we have from our third pack. So it's fine that it's only showing you two. Going to next, and there we go. Just going with this setup, but you don't have to. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to do anything like that. You can just go into no thanks, for example. And then finally, you should see something like so that tells you allow network access, obviously allow. Going to allow again. And you could look for nearby hubs if you have one, but at this point, we don't have one. So as mentioned before, we don't have a nearby hub. So we're just going to tap here on the three dots on the top. Tap on cancel. But anyways, at this point, you should see something like so, seeing your Wi-Fi is ready. And then down here below, just press on continue. And you're all done with the whole setup. Congrats, enjoy your Wi-Fi. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.